Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of this short series on how to set up Visual Studio Code for using Fortran. Today I'm going to show you how you can automate your building routines in Visual Studio Code using the built-in tasks. Let's take a look at the example from our last video. If I want to compile this code, I can open up a command line by typing Ctrl, Shift and the grave accent and now I can call the compiler by typing, for example, gfortran, uh, define the output file to be hello, and say, OK, take the hello vs code file and the get name file and compile everything for me. That works fine. And if I want to start the application now, I just type hello, and there you go, the program is launching. This is quite a lot of typing and as you can imagine, if you're dealing with a lot of source codes, this is something you definitely do not want to do every time by hand. Fortunately, VS Code has some integrated tasks features where you can define certain tasks that are then executed once you press a certain button, for example. Before I show you in detail how you can set up a building routine with tasks, let me give you a brief example how to set up a simple task. For this you would have to create a new folder in your directory, call it .vscode. And within this folder you can now create a new file and we call it tasks.json. Within this task.json file, we can now define various different tasks. Let us first try out a simple Hello World task that prints out Hello World at our console. So we have to define the property tasks, which is an array where we can put in different tasks. So let's call the first one hello. Now we have to define the type of the task. In our case, what we want to do is we want to execute a shell command, so we choose shell. Next, we can define the command. And in this case, it's just echo out hello vs code, for example. And that's it, basically. We have to find our first task. How can we now execute this task? For this, you open up the command palette by typing Control shift p And we can now type in tasks and choose Run Task. Now we get a list of all the defined tasks. In our case, we have only defined the hello task, so we execute hello. And what you see down here in the command line that it has printed out hello VS Code as we wanted it to be. Next, let's take a look at how we would define a build task. This, let's just use this task here and rename it into build. We still want to execute a shell command since we want to call the gfortran compiler. Now we just use command gfortran. And what we can also define is a group. And there we can choose the build group. This basically means that this task belongs to all the build tasks that we are defining. So up to now, if we just open the command palette and, and type tasks, run task and execute build, we'll get a fatal error since there are no input files in there, that's right. So what we actually want to do is to give gfortran all the flags and input files uh, such that it can, can compile properly. To pass arguments to the command that is executed, you can just define a, a list of arguments, just type args. And now let's, for example, take um, all warnings, the output file to be um, hello, and the source files to be hello vs code. 
as well as get name. If we now call the task again, Control Shift P, run task, build, we see that the compiler has executed the command and we now have an executable that is called hello here in our directory. Let's take a look if, if this uh, actually runs. Hello. Okay, it runs. Wonderful. Okay, now we have successfully defined our first building task. What I also want to show you is instead of getting to the command palette, going to run task and build task, you can also directly call the build task by hitting Control Shift B and then you can get displayed directly all the build tasks that you defined by defining the task in the group build. If you want to define a certain build task that is a default, then you just have to change the group here such that um, its kind is uh, built and the uh, argument is default is true. So what you can now do is if you hit Control Shift B, it will always execute the default build task for you. So what if we do not want the executable to be compiled here in our main directory? What we would have to do is we would have to create a build directory and then compile the executable into the build directory directly. We can also automate this with the tasks. We can for this use the so-called compound tasks in Visual Studio Code. Let's try this out. First let's uh, define a task which uh, makes the build directory. So we call it uh, make build there for example. And the type is again a shell command. And the command now will be a little bit more difficult. Let me just copy it here. This command basically say, uh, asks if the directory build exists, then make the build directory. If it does not exist, do nothing. Next, we would have to tell the compiler that it has to compile within the build directory. And now we can set up the compound task. So let's call this one now build and rename the other one to, for example, compile. Next we can define the tasks uh, on which this compound task depends on. So we choose the depends on argument. This is a list where we just type in the labels of all the uh, task that it's depending on. So what we want to execute first is the make build directory task and what we would want to do next is the compile task. And then there is something else that is quite important. We also have to define the depends order that can be chosen to be parallel or in sequence. In our case we want to choose sequence because we first want to make the build directory before compiling the code. In parallel, it would uh, execute the depending tasks parallelly. What we would also need to do is to uh, copy the group down here and paste it into the build task. And now let's try to execute it. What you see is that we got a build directory and the executable hello put into this build directory. This approach can get pretty messy if you have a project that has multiple uh, source files. So I would uh, strongly recommend you to use a building tool like Make or Ninja or something else if you want to compile large projects. In that case, you could easily just uh, create a new task which you could then call, for example, 
make. And then you can do it in the same way as we did it before. Just uh, choose it to be a shell command. And uh, now the command would be simply make. And that's it. If you have a make file defined, then that will build your routines using make. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it quite helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you liked it and uh, want to see more of such videos, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, see you and bye bye.